at it. Uh, Araf says, is it permissible to prank people and then telling at the end that it was a joke or a prank? For example, snatching and eating strangers' food and then giving them better food at the end. Similarly, blind pr prank, acting as a blind and asking for way and then telling uh, the person that a car is coming and he's shocked, etc., like this, and also filming this. First of all, Islam tolerates jokes. Islam tolerates sometimes practical jokes, providing that this does not exceed the limit. And there were reports among the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, though some say that most of these reports were not authentic, that they were made up. Nevertheless, this does not change the fact that Islam tolerates humor. And the Prophet ﷺ used to joke, but he never ever said anything that was a lie. So part of the guidelines in Islam is that you are not allowed to terrify or to scare a Muslim. One authentic hadith reported that a man was taking a nap with his rope next to him. And we know that at the time of the companions, a rope meant something valuable because it was a tool which allowed people to earn money. So you can uh, tie a bunch of branches and sell it as firewood. And this would give you enough money to eat for a day or more. So some of his friends pranked him and took that rope. So he woke up terrified. And the Prophet said, and this is an authentic hadith, it is not permissible for a Muslim to frighten his brother Muslim. Though it's a, it's a practical joke. Likewise, the Prophet ﷺ said that whenever a Muslim points with a piece of iron, whether it's a gun, it's an arrow, it's a spear, towards his fellow Muslim, even if jokingly, then the angels would curse him, even if that person is his sibling from his father and mother. And this shows you that the safety and the purity of the heart of your brother Muslim is a priority. Now, pranking people is something that we don't usually have. We got this from YouTube and with, from social media, when you see people coming and taking the food of people or spoiling it or cutting their headsets while listening to something on the phone or uh, um, scratching their car or, 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 or having an accident with their car and then giving them a new one. All of this is not from our habits. And this could easily backfire. Last week only, a person was pranking someone, I think, in America when he got shot by the person he was pranking him. Luckily, unluckily for him, he had the, a, a gun. I think it's the Second Amendment. He had the gun with him, and he was in self-defense from such a prank. So what, at the end of the day, did he gain? Nothing. He's dead, and if yani Allah knows what will happen to him on the Day of Judgment. Therefore, such pranks are not of our customs, and many people would be offended by it. If I'm eating and someone spoils my food, even if he gives me a million dollars, I won't be happy. Do you think you can buy people's honor and dignity with money? You spoil their food, you spoil their car, and give them a Ferrari, and they will be grateful for you? No. This kind of insult, a lot of... People with honor do not accept it, and therefore I would say that it is not uh, permissible. So I think 